It's beautiful here, as usual. I'm on my way to recording another sort review, and I figured might as well give you an update on the whole fat loss and fitness journey. After I made that recent video, I got so many responses and so much support. I was blown away by it. I honestly didn't expect it. And uh, yeah, I've been trying to catch up, which is not easy. So apologies if you sent me a message and I haven't gotten back to you. Yeah, uh, the inbox is a mess, <laughs> let's put it that way. So first off, thank you. I appreciate it, I really do. And uh, I'm doing better now, in a way. <laughs> Why am I saying that? Because I'm going in the opposite extreme once again, it seems. So from what I can gather, the main reason why I've been failing to reach my goals for the past three years, you know, of trying to get back in shape and all that, is because I've, I've, tr I've really tried to make a more moderate approach work. The way I've succeeded in the past at losing a lot of fat and uh, improving my fitness has been anything but moderate. It was always just switching to the opposite extreme, you know, like no indulgences, super strict clean eating and working out like crazy and all of that. So I've never been able to maintain that for longer than a year or maybe two. It's, uh, and I'm, my guess is that it's just too extreme for me at least to maintain. I've been trying to do it in a, in a more sustainable way, you know, allowing myself some indulgences here and there, being able to enjoy food, but it, it doesn't work, apparently. So now I've gone again in the opposite extreme. Now I'm actually under eating significantly. And I mean, by the standards of weight loss, under eating significantly. Like I'm supposed to be at around 2000 calories at my current size to uh, lose about half a kilo per week. And I've been eating more like 12 to 1400, which is, yeah, it's probably not a good idea. It's not long-term sustainable. Way to wreck your metabolism sooner or later. So I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust. And as far as exercise is concerned, um, I'm now doing a somewhat different approach. Uh, I, at my fittest, I worked out five times a week, an hour to an hour and a half each. Just to clarify, by workout, I mean resistance training. Hemo practice and other cardio, cycling, walking, etc., all came on top of it. And that's all I'm counting now, too. Now I'm doing um, six times a week, about 30 to 45 minutes. And that seems to work a little bit better. I still struggle with fatigue and low energy, but not as much. What I would like you to be aware of is that what I'm doing is not really a smart approach. For most people, it's a much better idea to make uh, gradual cumulative changes. You know, like start out with something as simple as skipping soda if you drink a lot or switching to sugar-free or, you know, increasing your vegetable intake or things like that, or starting to walk regularly. You know, like start, start just with like 15 minutes and then increase it more and more, that sort of thing, right? That's generally more strategic and, and more effective, but I can't do that. For me, it needs to be all or nothing, basically. That's kind of the problem. If I don't change every, if I don't do a 180, it, it'll fall apart. That's what's been happening the past three years. So the sensible approach does not work for me. It, it's gotta be extreme, you know, so, it is what it is, as long as it works. I don't know if it's really gonna be um, sustainable in the long run, but this is literally all I know at this point. Everything else I've tried has failed. This I know at least works for a while. And I'd rather be fitter and healthier for a while and regress than just stay this way, you know what I mean? 
And here's what I find most frustrating about this whole process. And this definitely has to do with the fact that I'm doing it extreme, which is once I've, once I've changed my mindset, it, I, I want to go, I want to go hard right now. <laughs> and that's not how it works. You know, changes in body composition are slow and gradual, which in a way is a good thing because it means that you're not going to blow up into a supersized muffin <laughs> within a couple of weeks. It takes a long time. Uh, the drawback of that, of course, is it can kind of sneak up on you because it is slow and gradual. But uh, yeah, so you, you got to be consistent. That's the main thing. Consistency is key. Even if you're only at a slight deficit, like a really minor deficit, like, I don't know, you lose 50 grams or 100 grams each week or even less. As long as you're in a deficit, if you do it for long enough, you'll reach your goal eventually, even if it takes you a few years, right? And that's where I tend to run out of steam. I just don't see enough results or, or quick enough, or, you know, and then it gets frustrating, particularly also because you can't go too hard. You need rest times, particularly when it comes to exercise, because if you don't rest enough, you'll overtrain and, and you'll do more harm than good. Not only will you not make gains, you will, uh, I mean, you will get injury gains, which is not good. So yeah, you can't just go crazy, but that's what I want to do. And also <laughs> I've noticed a funny thing. Um, typically every time when I, when I finally get back on track and start to lose fat and I, and I make some progress, for some reason, it's always then that I, that I see more comments where people say, oh, you got so fat. It's natural because people don't know what's going on and they tune in and out at random times. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's not surprising, but it's, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Like as soon as you... you put effort into it and then suddenly people point out like oh what a fat ass yeah that's motivating not that it matters it's random strangers on the internet that's just how it is like if i don't know you and you're being a dick then i'm not going to take you seriously like fair right so yeah that's the frustrating part that you you've changed internally but it takes so long to change externally and yeah, that's where you got to be persistent. And that's also one of the reasons why sustainable habits are what matter so much. If you just like, crash into it and go super hardcore on a short-term diet, you put everything you lose back on and then some yo-yo effect. Whereas if you maintain healthy, sustainable habits, that's the way to go because then you also don't have as much pressure of looking, oh, Man, I've only made so and so much progress. I need to, to be faster. So, no, you just, this is what you do now permanently. This is your new life, you know? And as long as you keep going, even if there are occasional um, setbacks, you, you just return to that and you'll stick to your habits. Here's what I hate about that. I despise habits. Habits drive me nuts, okay? This is just like my brain is not compatible with routine and repetition. I, Basically, I want every day to be a little bit different. And in fact, significantly different even, ideally. So the more samey the next day is compared to yesterday, the more it bothers me and drives me nuts. <sighs> yeah, that's not ideal. That's not good for habit building. So um, normally you're supposed to, or the, the idea is that when you build a habit, it becomes effortless. Uh, it's won't be here. And uh, so eventually you don't have to think about it because you just automatically do it because it's a habit, right? So it, it's, it becomes easier. For me, it's the other way around. It becomes harder. <laughs> like when I, when I change something, at first it's like, oh, cool, change. Yeah, we're doing something new. I'm, I'm on board, right? But then <laughs> as it becomes a habit, as I keep doing it over and over and over again, it becomes boring and tedious and annoying. Yeah, so... I, I don't have a solution for that. I wish I did. If I did, I, I would tell you. If you struggle with the same things. 
but I don't. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna have to be stubborn and occasionally mix it up. That might help. Like occasionally try a different workout or you know, a different type of exercise, this sort of thing. That's really all I can think of. So yeah, that's where we're at. Everything is going well so far. I'm just gonna have to be consistent and keep at it. And holding myself accountable. Again, thank you for the support and suggestions and, and offers to help and all that. I do very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll keep making a solid effort. Hope you're doing well too. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck in your own journey too. Take care.